So today I'm going to talk about the gaming performance on my HP EliteBook 8470P. My laptop has these specs. It has a Core i5 3320M with 8GB of memory and this is the one with the dedicated 7570M, not the one with the Intel HD graphics. So if you have the version with the Intel HD graphics, do not watch this video. This video is not for you. But if you're thinking about getting the laptop with the dedicated AMD chip, or you have one, then let's start. So let's start with an easy game. Minecraft with 16 chunks at 1600 by 900 and the fancy settings gave us around 108 frames per second for the average and 56 frames per second for the minimum. This is a very, very good result. However, I only tested around flying around a new world that is not populated with many stuff but if you actually go into a world where it has some stuff and it's populated with some stuff like a busy server the frame rate could dip but mostly minecraft is very very playable on this laptop csgo next csgo is another game what is pretty much playable on this laptop with everything set to medium i got around 76 frames per second average and 39 frames per second for the minimum this was also at the native resolution at 1600 by 900 and the game didn't actually dip that much down to 39 frames per second. But you can also lower down the resolution and lower it in the in-game settings to make the frame rate go higher but at these settings this laptop can play CSGO. Okay, now on to Fallout 4. With Fallout 4 with no tweaks, with everything set to low at the resolution at 800 by 540 and walking around just a plain old wasteland got us around 38 frames per second average with a 26 frames per second for the minimum. This is very playable with some dips. I can comfortably play this game but then it becomes really bad when you go into a city with only getting 23 frames per second average in Diamond City and 18 frames per second for the minimum, it becomes then very unplayable. But with some tweaks and if you don't enter many cities in the game, you can play this game quite well. But since mostly you will be going to the cities and stuff where there's stuff going on, yeah, I wouldn't really recommend playing this game on this laptop. Okay, so Doom is now the worst game you can play on this laptop. It was pretty much unplayable at the lowest settings at 800 by 600 we got 26 frames per second what sounds like a good number with only 10 frames per second minimum and it drops down to that number quite a lot this was only using OpenGL since this laptop doesn't support Vulkan I wouldn't recommend playing this game on this laptop it's, it's really unplayable okay the last game is GTA 5. This game is actually quite playable at 720p at the lowest settings. I got 31 frames per second for the average and 22 frames per second for the minimum. It didn't dip that much as well while playing this game. I drove around in a car chase so GTA 5 is very playable. Maybe if you start exploding loads of stuff the game might drop frame rate. But for most things you'll be doing in that game it's very playable. In conclusion then, this laptop can play games like GTA 5, CSGO and Minecraft. But this laptop might struggle with newer games like Fallout 4 and Doom. And this laptop doesn't support Vulkan or DirectX 12. So in the future where there's only games that have DirectX 12, like now there's Forza Horizon 3 what can't even start up on this laptop, we might be getting into incompatibility and you might not be able to run that game you want to run. But that's really it. So if you want to see a full review on this laptop, click the, on the video now and please subscribe to the channel.